look at them. Perfect timing, taking a deuce. Down there. Just doing a little hiking adventures today. Alex, what do you got to say? Gosh, cooch. Nothing like the Carolina mountains. Wow, it's crazy. Crazy. The beast. Yo, yo, so today we're starting on rhino lining the forerunner. So we're taping everything up today and kind of start off everything a little update on the G35. Already dropped the transmission, checked the clutch and everything. Everything was aligned, it seems straight, but I put it all back together. And then my buddy seems to think that there might be like a few notches in the flywheel. So the flywheel's bad. And uh, it's, it's an aftermarket one. It looked pretty crappy anyways. Um, so I'm waiting on a new flywheel to come in for that. And I'll show you a video on that. And um, yeah, so let's get started on the 4Runner. I'll kind of give you like a before and after of the fender. I'm, I haven't really painted anything yet, but I want to see how it looks. So, All right, everybody. So this is my new, you know, 1794 edition Tundra. Just got it. You know, pretty sweet. Perfect. Got the blue LEDs because I'm balling. Nah, just, just kidding. This is my pops. I'm too poor to afford this. A little bit on it, but I'll do it all. So what should we name this series, Alex? How to rhino line a car in your backyard? That sounds good. Say something, the world wants to hear your voice. Why is it acting so weird? What's it doing? It's like not coming out. Is it, oh, do you think they're clogging it, those little things? You got dripping. Yeah. It's like it, the thickness comes out sometimes. It's dripping. Quite. It's not gonna come off of your shirt. So what's up, guys? Um, I really didn't film much. I mean. Uh, rhino lining the forerunner just because you know it's repetitive as you're doing it's taping up everything and taking stuff off I basically had the car completely stripped and all the windows taped but I'll kind of show you the after of how everything came out it came out decently I wouldn't say it came out great just because it's hard to tape all these you know window seals that are nearly 25 years old Know, stuff is crackly and it breaks and you can't you can't make it perfect but it, it came out pretty good for what it is um, so I'll show you the forerunner here in a bit and I'm actually trying to sell it and then I'm probably gonna sell the infinity and then we'll be making bigger moves from there so watch out for more content to come yo yo, yo. so it's been a minute since I've filmed anything just because I've been so busy at work. Um, so I got the G running straight, seems like. 
Still got a few kinks here and there. I can't, the slice cylinder keeps leaking, so my clutch keeps losing pressure. Um, I've put like four crush washers on it and it still seems to be leaking. But my G has been acting real weird with the ABS and everything. It's like it, it retested every time I start it and it's like it's kicking back and forth. Um, so I'm just gonna completely connect the VDCs or what are they called? It's called like a yaw sensor. Makes it so where basically it's not an open diff. It's considered welded, not really, but considered. All right, so I got this stupid sensor out. Um, it's got sticky shit all over it, so I'm guessing that, you know, maybe it got in there and made it bad. But I've heard that if you just unplug these, that's what it looks like, it's just a little Bosch sensor that you won't have that problem anymore, but you just have a VDC slip light on all the time. So that looks like it's trash. I'm gonna put that in there. And it's just right behind your shifter right here. All I do is take up these front little screws right here, lift this bad boy, pull it out, and you got it. So it's basically how to weld your diff, but not really weld your diff. You can do standard burnouts and drifts and do whatever you want. So, I mean, that's an easy way not to have to weld your diff. So, there you go. G35 life. So what are we doing, Alex? We're peeling the infinity. Hold on, I gotta get close so you can't see her. Feet. And the, we're peeling this car is basically because you know I'm thinking about doing black and then reselling it or I might keep it and you know who knows if I sell it you know you can go on to different builds but I really haven't shown too much of this I've had it for a while so that's why I'm kind of getting bored of it but who knows we'll see I mean it's a clean car as you can see the paint under it's mint but you know I don't really like silver. Somebody else might though. We'll see. Looks pretty good. Doesn't look terrible. What I'm about to do is I'm gonna peel the rest of this stuff off right here. And then I got some 7D carbon fiber wrap. I'm gonna try that. I got a heat gun and everything. So we'll see how that goes. This is what we're gonna put on. We're gonna try to. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna skip to the end of this. <laughs> 